Hello, Black Healing Matters family. This is Danielle here at the Black Healing Matters podcast, where we offer you ideas to hopefully move you one step closer to your healing. And I'm so happy that uh, today I get to offer you something nice. Um, You know, of course, it is Tuesday. And being Tuesday, that means that it is Know Thy History Tuesday. And briefly, why do we why do we even go there? Why do we have history? You know, for me personally, when I thought about history, just you know, like high school, middle school, elementary school history, it was always really boring to me. Never really my favorite class. Uh, because I, I never really connected with it. Uh, to me, there was really no personal connection with the history I was learning in school. But on my search for the identity of black people, what it means to be a black person on this planet, I found that history is not only something that is a huge clue to how we can be successful in the future, it's also a huge clue to who we are, to our identity. I think, I believe that's an identity that we are really searching for in many different ways. But on top of that, all of that, It is a history that is very cleverly (laughs) hidden in plain sight and shrouded in much, um, I don't know, misinformation, not misinformation, but, you know, there seems to be a lot of, um, first of all, not a lot of, of open information about Africa. And when I say history, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, who were we, black people, before slavery? What did we eat? What did we wear? How did we interact with each other? How did we see the world? What did we accomplish? What did we establish? How did we feel about each other? And, you know, how did we live? All these questions really are largely unanswered and trying to piece together our history is honestly, it's daunting. You know, every week when I prepare for this, this, um, this segment, it's not easy. (laughs) It's really not easy to find African history, which is really perplexing. So to me, that also tells me that there has been quite a lot of effort into deliberately hiding and destroying a lot of the history of Africa. Because we do know that it exists. And uh, strangely enough, most of the artifacts, African artifacts of any value, are not in Africa. They're in European museums or other places in Europe. So on that note, I hope that, you know, you can understand and get a good, good, deep understanding of why history is so, so important to us specifically as black people, no matter where you are on the planet, even if you are in Africa, understanding African history is something that will allow us to become more like who we are and more like who we have been and less like our oppressors. Okay. All right. I hope that makes sense. So on this episode of Know That History Tuesday, we're going to talk about a great story of the Ashanti people and the golden stool. Have you heard this story before? The Shanti people, the golden stool? Well, if you haven't, you definitely wanna stay tuned. As well, we're gonna talk about the amazing queen warrior, Yaa Asantoe, who was really 
when you when you look at Wakanda and you see the um Dora Milaje, right? Is that what they are called? The Dora Milaje of the Wakanda Kingdom. These these women are a fictional representation of real women, real African warrior queens like Ya Asantawa. And I hope I'm saying her name right, Asantawa. Nonetheless, you can check out this um, her story, which will be following the story of the Golden Stool, as these stories are very much so um, connected. She plays a very pivotal role in that story. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. Uh, and of course, if you have anything, any specific um, topic or content that you'd like to learn is in regards to African history, please hit me up. Let me know. I would be happy to research it and, and bring it to light because there's so much that we don't know. And it's honestly not easy finding resources. So if you have good resources for African history, please as well hit me up. And on that note, please don't forget to comment, like, Join the Facebook group, hit us up on YouTube, as well as SoundCloud, and of course, email, good old-fashioned email, blackkillingmatters at gmail.com. Please stay tuned, enjoy the story of the Golden Stool and Warrior Queen, Ya Asentoa. As always, stay blessed. Black Healing Matters. Okay, so unfortunately the video seemed to be malfunctioning. So I'm just going to give you a quick paraphrasing of the story of the golden stool. And so this was an actual golden stool, a real stool made of gold that came from the sky. Ashanti people believe and it was gifted to the Ashanti people from the from the sky uh, in order to unite them and it was said that this golden stool contained the the peop the soul of the people and then once they lost this once it was outside of their possession then they would also lose their soul and so of course the Ashanti warriors the Ashanti people fought tooth and nail to keep this uh, very precious artifact, this very precious item in their possession. However, as part of the agreement to their uh, treaty or um, with the British government, the British government demanded that the Ashanti people hand over the golden stool and this was one of the final wars. This is what prompted one of the final wars uh, between the British and the Ashanti people. There were, I believe, three major wars between the British and the Ashanti going back and forth. And so this was the British attempt to finally um, really fully subjugate the Ashanti people by taking their, uh, by demanding their stool, this golden stool, which they knew was very important to the Ashanti people. And of course, they weren't having it. That is the Ashanti people, they weren't having it. And so as this British official, British military official stood in con con conference with the Ashanti leaders and demanded openly and very brash demanded <laughs> this golden stool uh, from the leaders of the Ashanti, this very powerful um, group of people, the Ashanti. Um, you know, they these kings and, and, and rulers were quite quiet uh, and they didn't really give much resistance. And it was at that time, the story has it, that the queen mother warrior queen, Ya Asantoe, stood up and um, gave a very powerful speech. 
that ended up really putting her in a position of leadership and power until, you know, for the rest of her life. And a little bit about her specifically. Uh, she's known as one of the most powerful African queens in in history, and is got of course her. She's from Ghana, the the Kingdom of Ghana. She's known as a woman who fearlessly fought against British colonialists to her exile. The speech she gave to the chiefs who were about to chicken out from the war against colonists was what inspired several men to go ahead and fight against the British for the release of their king, King Prampet, who had been captured by the British. Queen Asantoe, together with other warriors, managed to keep the British army at fort, but were eventually captured and exiled. Historically, Ya Asantoe is credited as the last woman to ever lead a major war against colonists. Thus, her name will forever be remembered throughout the history of Africa. And so, of course, she um, truly an amazing, <laughs> amazing woman, an amazing female leader. And I wanted to highlight uh, female leaders that many many of us don't have any any understanding or knowledge of because unfortunately you know we just don't know a lot about african history but these women truly did exist and you know they they had a huge profound impact on the trajectory of history and so on that note i hope you enjoyed as always, stay blessed. Black Healing Matters. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.